What's up, YouTube? It's Cloudly PVP here, and uh, today I'm gonna be bringing you the Chuku Clock Gauntlet. I think, yeah. So I just got this yesterday. Uh, so let's get into everything. Let's accept them out real quick. So this is the new steed. Looks pretty nice. Looks pretty nice. Let's grab it real quick. Let's get on it. Two percent pierce. That's not bad at all. So the new steed. Uh, I like it. It's actually a nice steed. It's actually really nice looking. I, I really like this one. Alright. Um, let's get back into the bundle. Uh, everybody's been wanting this pet. Which, because it's pretty broken. Three, uh, three uh, guardian spirit cards. But I mean... They're gonna try to do an update to make it not PvPable, those cards, which I think is very dumb. I mean, I think the pet's broken, but what I think they could do is just make the pet one Guardian Spirit card instead of three. Or at least make two of them not PvPable, because if I wanted to, at level one, I could get a Guardian Spirit card from a wand. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's pretty dumb. And going throughout the whole levels, that same wand still has Guardian Spirit. And that card's PvPable, so no matter what, if I really needed Guardian Spirit, I could have one. So I think one card on a pet for PvP wouldn't be too bad. It wouldn't be broken or anything, because it's already happening right now. So I think it's fine. Um, let's go through the attire. I haven't seen any of this. Ooh, I like to look at all the levels, because I like mix and matching for all my different characters. Um, I mean... Yeah, it's all right. It's decent. I don't know if the dragons, uh, Terra, whatever the robe, I'm not getting it pronounced right now. I'm too out of it. Is better than uh, level five robe. I mean, it's the same stats for level ten, so I'm thinking that one's better than level five. If you're doing a little level PP like I'd like to do, um, yeah, pretty much same thing, just a little bit more around everything else. I mean, I wish the stun was more of a universal block. Would be nice for low levels. But I guess they gotta really make it, uh, really make it uh, for different, I guess. I don't know. I hate how, like, half these things don't even have universal block. It's just like, oh yeah, we're stunning a lot of damage, a lot of critical, a lot of peers. Uh, I mean, nothing really extraordinary with these stats. Things I've been seeing throughout all their bundles. Uh, at level 90, they give the Shadow Pip. I don't think I've seen that one yet. Because, that, you know, I haven't seen that. Shadow Pip's at 90. I mean, I guess Shadow Pip's at 90 pretty broken. Because, no, wait, 90 you get... Freaking, what am I saying? Shadow Pip's at 90 broken. No, I mean, you don't really get gear like that. You get... I forgot the percentage of it. You don't have gear with Shadow Pips, though. I guess, like, if you had TC Shadow Hit cards, that'd be nice. You get a better percentage. Um, yeah, like, nothing out of... Nothing too special in this bundle. I mean, the robe has been the most consistently nice one. Uh, nice block, nice pierce, a nice amount of health. Uh, good amount of Shadow Pips. All right, and this must be the uh, the wand, that, which I really like the wand. Actually, that wand is RNG's Jesus, except the part where like the numbers are nice, the thing's not that great. I mean, I was I thought that that thing was gonna give a pip, that would have been broken. Uh, Dragon Raiders is pretty okay. So if you're doing level ten PvP, I'm guessing this wand would be nice, but there's still that wand with gold pip at level like. 1 to 10, so I don't know, I still probably go for the gold pip wand. Uh, it starts getting pierced at 30, that, which is not bad, I actually would probably use this type of wand. Like, I think I'd use this wand over the sky iron or hostile, I actually might just use that. Because it gives pierce, right guys, and it gives 6% damage, and I pretty much consider pierce as pure damage, because... Come on, guys. If you're PvPing without any resist, 
then just, just get out, just walk away, don't come back. So, I mean, I might just do this. And it's nice because it's a, it's a balanced one. So, really, you don't have to worry about breaking bl any blades. You just take off weaknesses or destroy uh, towers. It's pretty nice. I like it. I might be using that one. It's actually not a bad one. I, if the 30 had crit block, that would make my life so much better because... God knows I hate those friggin' critical people when I get, um, what is it, I got, what, uh, Grandmasters, I keep on getting Grandmasters in 30. Alright, so 110, right, not 90, yeah, 110 gives this card 250 to all enemies, oh, right, to enemies, so they all, I mean, lower damage, but it's all, it's not bad. Uh, but it's not, like, amazing. There's better ones out there. Alright, guys. And the moment that we've been waiting for is the extra bundle thing. The clock, the great clockwork. Um, I will be doing this great clockwork with viewers. I have to wait. So, there's gonna be a whole other video. But as you guys can see already, I will be adding this to my collection of every bundle gauntlet I have so let's add the great clockwork where are you the great clockwork there it is so I'll be doing this with viewers in a little bit um see what we, it has for us to do I hope you guys enjoyed this um I know it's very early for me right now so I'm Probably rambled a lot, but uh, go give uh, my channel a like, subscribe if you want. I'll be streaming uh, some of this and hopefully post up a video later today with uh, viewers. And if you guys don't know, probably first time here, uh, check out twitch.tv cloudly pvp, where I mostly be playing live like every time on the wizards. And, um, yeah, have a great day, guys. I hope you had a great 4th of July. 